Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your monthly forecast for June 2017. I can't believe it's June already, um, but thank you for joining me. Uh, so the decks that um, I'm going to be using are the traditional Rider Waite deck uh, for the tarot portion and then uh, pulling one card from the uh, Messages from Your Angels by Doreen Virtue deck. Um, for career and finances studies anything like that uh, amira salon's love oracle for the love uh, portion for uh, emotional life and love life um archangel uh raphael healing oracle by doreen virtue uh, for messages about health and well-being and then for overall guidance we have the deck of angels gods and goddesses by tony carmine salerno it's really nice beautiful deck and uh uh, looking forward to working with it. Um, and as always, please remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to make sense to everybody watching. Uh, certain things may resonate, other things may not. It may not make sense at all. That just means it may not be for you this month. Uh, but you can watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may make more sense to you. Or of course, you could get a private reading that is just for you, specific to you and what you're dealing with. And all the links you need are in the description box below. But I hope you enjoy your readings. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I look forward to your feedback and I appreciate all your support. Um, thanks again for joining me. Enjoy your readings and have a fantastic month ahead. I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Take care. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your June 2017 reading. So let's have a look at what's going on here for you. Um, so at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy. We do have the devil card. So with the devil card here, uh, major arcana card, uh, it could represent you, your energy, um, but um, this is a card that talks about being caught in a situation that you're not happy with, that you feel um, you can't control, um, feeling stuck or powerless uh, or chained to a particular situation in your life. It could also be a time when you focus on uh, an addiction or a bad habit or this could be yours or someone around you and you're trying to help this person. Um, vicious cycles also come up here for you. So you may be either you're going around in circles with something um, that's a vicious cycle or you're trying to break a vicious cycle, okay? It's coming up for some of you here. Or you are breaking a vicious cycle. So your current situation sees the 10 of pentacles. So this is how you come into the month or um, what you're experiencing in, in the beginning of the month. The Ten of Pentacles, um, there's an element of inheritance that comes up with this. So it could be that you receive an inheritance or you, uh, some sort of a legacy. This could also be for some of you retiring from a position uh, or just the end of a job or the end of a contract. The Ten of Pentacles is not necessarily, um, it's not a bad card. So it's not like you get kicked out. You know, that would be more like the Ten of Swords. Um, the Ten of Pentacles just means that something has run its course and you've come to a happy conclusion with that. For those of you, this could talk about um, a wedding or preparing for a wedding, preparing for, um, you know, to start a marriage with this card or preparing to start a family or talks of family at this time with this Ten of Pentacles uh, or moving, moving away or moving in with someone as well with this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, and uh, some sort of a success in business or career and then you just have to move on to your next uh, your next thing and then the challenge is the eight of cups so with the eight of cups what this is for some of you this could be you leaving a marriage uh, or someone else leaving a marriage um, that affects you for those of you this could be uh, again the, this is the end of a contract or this is the end of a role but with the Eight of Cups, it's almost saying, well, I felt comfortable there. I felt happy there. Um, I would have liked to stay there a while longer, but unfortunately, it's it's not possible. So you just you just have to move on. Uh, for those of you, this is about um, a graduation of sorts. And so now you have to go out there and find a job. Um, but definitely getting something coming to a close. And the challenge is letting that go and moving on. This could also be someone moving out as well. And the foundation for why things are the way they are, we do have the temperance card. So the temperance card here for some of you, 
uh, talks about something you've been waiting on and it just never happened and that's why you know this ending happens and you have to make your peace with it because you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and it's just never materializing this could be a, a promise at work this could be a promise from some, from someone else um, this could be just waiting for something to materialize and you have to wait on another person or several other people to, to do what they have to to make sure that that materializes and they don't do that so it's just a waiting game and for those of you this is a Sagittarius at the bottom of things uh, for better or for worse uh, you could be leaving a marriage for a Sagittarius or leaving a marriage because of a, a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius is leaving a marriage and this would be uh, their sun sign, moon sign or rising sign um, it could also it could also be someone who's dealing with two parties, two different parties, okay, going from one to the other with this kind of situation. And we have a potential uh, third party situation in the devil card as well. In the past, we have the seven of swords. So the seven of swords is a card that talks about um, poten potentially people being dishonest. Uh, there could be uh, cheating or half truths. With the Seven of Swords uh, on the other front, this could be uh, someone that stole from you or someone that undermined your um, authority in a situation or someone that g gave you a hard time, created obstacles for you. Um, this could also be cunning, you strategizing for your business, for your work situation, or this could be someone else uh, being cunning. And... Um, there's an element of either you leaving a job early, it's not a, too early, okay, so it's still close to the natural ending of that situation, but with the Eight of Cups, you're kind of leaving with a heavy heart. So it could also be where you don't get a, a chance to talk about the truth, okay, there's this may have been rumors or gossip and people trying to take away from your reputation or people trying to take away from a promotion for you, okay, that could be the case as well. Uh, in the crowning thoughts position, we have the King of Wands, so again, Fire Sign Energy, so Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is on the mind, so either this person is hurting you or this person is helping you through this. But with this, it could be the same person as, you know, the foundation, so the same person behind everything that's been going on. So again, you could um, either not get a promotion because of this person, this person could be your boss as well, um, or... There's a relationship that ends because of this person, even a marriage that ends because of this person. Um, and this could also be where someone's married and they didn't tell you. And now you find out and you have to turn your back on that, you have to walk away, but it's with a heavy heart because you already had feelings for that person. It could be something like that as well. In the near future, we have the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords around mid-month uh, talks about things coming to a head. This is a conflict. This is an exchange um, of hurtful words. Um, this could be a conflict in the workplace if you work with this individual or if the situation is happening in the workplace. This would be rumors, gossip, people cutting each other down uh, to get ahead. Um, if this is in your personal life, then this is someone who um, is has a take no pr prisoners type of attitude. Uh, they just want to when in that situation they just want to be right, they just want to prove to everyone, um, prove something to everyone, they want to get their way, uh, and they will crush you if they need to do that. This is very competitive energy, but it's the wrong kind of, or it's the negative kind, where instead of learning from each other and, and being constructive, uh, because of that competition, people are actually doing illegal or immoral things to get ahead. Uh, the best way to handle this kind of attitude is not to get involved so as much as possible if this is going on around you because it's an environment card as well uh try your best to stay out of it don't let anyone push your buttons um it could be an air sign that just comes to you and just tells you something like i told you so and how could you not see this and how could you you know be so naive or anything like that it could be something like that you know it feels like someone um, kicking you when you're down or trying to do that, okay? Um, but don't give this person any power, just ignore them and they're they're not going to have any effect on you. This could also be change in your environment, change in your circumstances. So again, there's an element of either you're leaving, the other person's leaving, um, or this is someone getting 
uh, your promotion or getting um, the role that you would have liked um, because they're being so cutting and cutting, okay? But again, don't get involved in anything shady. Don't get involved in anything immoral. Don't stoop to this person's level, okay? They're going to get what's theirs. In the position representing you or how you see yourself, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups here, again, it's it's coming up for love life for some of you. Um, you may want to reach out to this fire sign energy um, or whoever this is for you. You may still want to reach out to them or you may still want to be friends with them or you may still try to uh, communicate with them. Uh, even if it's just because, you know, you work together or you see each other every day or you see each other often, you're trying to be friendly or trying to um, be calm, friendly, professional, um, and you're trying to offer them peace. For those of you, this is about you receiving an offer in terms of uh, please come back or uh, in terms of um, I'm sorry this happened, what can I do to make it up to you? Um, but you have to be discerning as to whether or not this person means what they say. Because they may see you as someone who is naive and a fool for feelings, okay, is what I'm getting. In your environment, we have the Queen of Swords. So this is this is the attitude you need to be in. This is the mental attitude you need to be in. Protect yourself. Put that sword up. Give people a chance to say their piece. But if something feels off, if something feels like you can't trust that person or you can't trust what they're saying, or they, they're saying one thing but they're not um, showing you that they mean what they say, the Queen of Swords is a card that says, cut these people out of your life, uh, leave those situations, okay, because they're toxic, they're negative, and they're going to get more complicated. Um, the Queen of Swords is also messages coming to you, and justice being served is also what I'm getting with this card, and a legal element. So if this is about, um, you know, this person spreading rumors, or giving you a hard time, or... Uh, trying to kick you when you're down or anything like that, then the Queen of Swords says either cut them out of your life or the truth will come to light, okay? In hopes and fears, we have the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Swords could also be messages coming your way from a job application or an interview because the Page of Cups around mid-month or into the third week of the month could see you interviewing as well. And then the Eight of Wands talks about hopes and fears, hoping to receive good news, this could be uh, hoping to hear back from multiple sources or hoping to receive the news you were waiting for. This is hoping to get an approval, hoping to get um, the yes with something, hoping to get a job. Um, this could also be uh, getting back into the dating world and you're talking to people online or you're dating or you're going out a lot. Um, this is uh, hoping for things to pick up. Um, and it's definitely... Uh, definitely a possibility here as well okay and some travel time maybe a hope or something that is going to happen in the outcome position we do have the ten of wands the ten of wands here is a caution the ten of wands talks about if you get caught up in this person's game they will overwhelm you and it will become this vicious cycle it will be impossible for you to let go of this person or what they did to you okay so it's a caution to say, now is the time for you to take care of yourself, to put yourself first, let go of everything that's happened or try to come to terms with it, try to get some closure from it, but it's time to let it go because it will start to affect your health and uh, mental state, emotional well-being as well. Um, for those of you, this Ten of Wands talks about taking on a lot more than you can handle. Um, it's definitely a card that says you're not letting go of the past. You're not letting go of something that was harmful and hurtful. And you're losing your way, okay, with this Ten of Wands. And it's starting to be a heavy burden on you or heavier still. And it needs to stop. It needs to end, okay. So you have two tens in your reading uh, and, and the, the Devil card. So things are going round in circles. Something that should have ended a while ago is, is still not ending or you're still not letting it go. Or this is someone not letting go of you and not letting you be in peace. Um, but the message here is don't think about other people. This is not the time for that. Think about yourself. Put yourself first and take care of yourself and your needs, okay? 
um, because with this Ten of Wands, if you try to make sure that everyone else is okay, if you take on more than you can handle, if you're um, going to feel bad about saying no to anyone, uh, you will be overwhelmed um, with this Ten of Wands and get to that point where you're mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted and drained, okay? And this is also saying, ask for help. Don't try to do everything yourself. Don't try to carry that that burden on your own. Um, if something is yours to carry, but it's too much for you, ask for help um, with this situation, okay? Talk to someone, vent, release, do what you can to release, okay? Let's look at your Oracle cards. This could also be moving for some of you is what I'm getting. But again, you're moving to a new place, but you're trying to carry all your old stuff with you. And that's that's not right. It's a new place. You need to go in there with the right attitude, which is embracing the new, letting go of anything that you have not been using, letting go of anything that is uh, painful for you or, or brings back painful memories. Now is the time to clear and, and cleanse, okay, so that you truly start fresh. Because if you regardless of the situation whatever this is if something's completely new but we bring our past into it we will turn it into what our past was okay and that may cost us opportunities so for career and finances we do have isabella yes the timing is right for this new venture a happy outcome follows your positive expectations so what i'm getting with this is you get some bad news okay some news that is a little sad it's not you know wrecking your world or anything but it's a little sad it's not what you wanted to hear basically with this card okay however as soon as you let go of this there's this new opportunity flying right at you okay so the message is be adaptable be be flexible with the monkey there i always see adaptability flexibility uh keeping a light-hearted energy and if you do hear something that you don't want to hear, say to yourself, that's okay. Um, I'm going to do better. I'm going to find something else. And as soon as you do that, you do find something else, okay? Um, anything new that you want to start, if you want to branch out, if you want to start your own business, uh, if you want to leave the family business, um, the time is right for that new venture. But remember, you have to make it about you not one, what everyone else is doing or, or what everyone else is telling you that you should do. It's time to do you, what you want, your vision, your goals, okay? Because with the King of Wands in your thoughts, it could also be that you've been thinking about becoming an entrepreneur. Um, and again, it's saying, take your time, make sure you have a plan so that you're not trying to do everything at the same time, but it has to be your vision, okay? Because here you can't see your own path forward because of everything else that you're carrying okay but you have a new venture starting in the month of june and it's going to bring you happiness if you stay positive about it if you have positive expectations about it so don't let anyone push your buttons and get under your skin okay for love life we have the ice king so the ice king here for some of you this comes up as emotional detachment so you're dealing with someone who uh, either they have detached from you or uh, you feel detached from them emotionally and this could be you know the end of a relationship or the end of a marriage again it doesn't have to be a lot of drama uh, it's just time to move on with that eight of cups and yes you've tried to make this work and you've been there for a while but it's just time to move on that's how it comes across for those of you this could be someone um, who's a, a manipulator that you're dealing with or that you have been dealing with. It could be this fire sign energy here. And there's an element of air sign as well. Maybe it's the same person and they have fire and air in their chart. But air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this person is, you know, wreaking havoc for you emotionally. And the way to deal with this person is to cut them out, to cut them off, um, not let them affect you anymore. Uh, in as much as possible okay it's of course it's easier said than done but it's not impossible um and for those of you i feel that this is your energy where whether you're aware of this or not you have your wall up you have a very uh strong guard um up and you may be keeping keeping people at a distance so either you're not interested in dating at this time or you're not interested in relationships at this time um or you are very focused on your relationship and you're, fight, and you're keeping people at a distance in terms of if someone's trying to flirt with you or someone's trying to um, tempt you, okay? 
For health and well-being, we have leave a stressful situation behind. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for giving me the courage and willingness to take good care of myself, including surrounding myself with healthy relationships and positive situations. So leave us a, a stressful situation behind, okay? Because if you don't, it will become too much to bear and it will affect your health in a very physical way. You will see the results of that, okay? You will start to feel pain. It will affect your sleep. It will affect your eating habits. Um, you may feel run down. You may feel just drained, exhausted all the time, lack vitality. Uh, and it's because of a stressful situation that, again, needs to be left behind. You have those two tens in there talking about something that should be let go of. Now is the month to do that, okay? In your overall guidance, we have the goddess of the earth. An idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. So this could be what Isabella is talking about here. An idea is coming your way, but you have to be in the right mindset to, to get this idea that is divinely guided. Um, this is about grounding yourself as well. You may have been dealing with some um, up and down kind of energy, uh, emotional roller coasters. This is about grounding yourself. Uh, another message coming through here is trust what is real. So again, don't take people's word for it. Don't uh, give in to people's promises. If something feels off, trust your intuition. Uh, it probably is off, okay? Um, but this is definitely about putting down roots for some of you. So you're thinking, okay, what do I want my life to be? Where do I want to live? What kind of a career do I want? Do I want a family? I feel like this is the month where you decide what your next step is and where you want to put down roots. And that could be, you know, literal where you move, but it could also be where you decide to invest, what you want to be your baby, okay, so to speak what is important to you. And there's also an element of um, standing tall and standing on your own. So you are breaking free or you're asked or guided to break free from vicious cycles or toxic relationships. Go for the healthy choices, okay? The tree could also represent health. Uh, so go for the healthy choices, not the temptation. And the temptation could be, you know, something that shines um and you know draws you in but it could also be the temptation to fall into sadness depression um self-doubt self-criticism okay this is saying make healthy choices this month because you will be setting down roots for something positive in your life okay so that is your reading i hope that it makes sense and that it helps i'm looking forward to your feedback let me know what this is for you if it applies remember to watch your moon and rising sign readings uh, for additional messages. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope you have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you again very soon. Take care.